Welcome to your weekly U.S. news update. We have three stories for you. More DJI leaks, drone up layoffs, and then a failed drone smuggling attempt in South Carolina. Let's get to it. All right, first up this week is a bunch of DJI leaks. We've talked about them, but there's a bit more information, uh, especially with the Air 3S and then also a little bit of the Neo. Uh, new images of the Air 3S have surfaced, which appears to be a much larger gimbal on an Air 3 frame. Uh, the leaked images also confirm that the name will be Air 3S. Uh, images also show different specs, including a Sony CMOS sensor with 14 stops of dynamic range and then an onboard panorama composition of 13,000 pixels by 6,500 pixels. Uh, the pictures are getting better, so as you know, my theory is that uh, we're getting closer to a release. Also, we've seen the Neo, more information, uh, plenty of leaks with a, uh, an Australian store that uh, apparently leaked the actual drone. Uh, the store shared the specs, some of which uh, we've seen before, which includes 135 grams, a hand takeoff and landing, I hadn't seen that one yet, a 4K video, smart track, direction track, uh, motion control, uh, remote audio controlling or recording, and then also uh, goggle compatibility. Controlling the drone in itself includes voice control, phone control and RC control. Uh, the more I look into this, the more I'm saddened to think that this might end up being like the uh, Instagram uh, <laughs> selfie drone that we had talked about a couple of years ago. I sure hope it is not a selfie drone, but uh, we'll see what happens. Next up, Drone Up sadly is scaling back operation and is closing 18 delivery hubs. Uh, Drone Up ended the hubs in Phoenix, Salt Lake City, and Tampa, uh, resulting in 70 jobs losses and then also a 17% reduction in their workforce. Uh, deliveries in the future will be limited to 15 locations in the Dallas area. Uh, you can see DroneUp's uh, response to the Drone Excel request for comments where they said, uh, and I quote, the decision to automate often leads to similar circumstances, but we acknowledge that this is a difficult time, especially for those with whom we've parted ways. The lesson we have learned in the last several years has informed a strategy to reshape the last mile of delivery with DroneUp's ecosystem platform that is economically feasible for sellers and scalable for buyers. Uh, it remains our ambition to grow DroneUp nationwide. Essentially, if you read a little bit more into the article, you'll see that they're trying to get the cost of uh, shipping down uh, tremendously. Uh, it is fairly expensive at the moment. Uh, they're trying to get it to a point where it would appeal more uh, buyers. Last up, deputies in South Carolina have confiscated large drones uh, being used to drop contraband into the Ridgeland Correctional Institute. While responding to the known takeoff locations nearby, the deputies found two men that were flying the drones and then attempted to stop them. The men ran and escaped into nearby woods. Uh, if only the police had access to a drone. When searched, the vehicles contain marijuana, tobacco, and a cell phone, uh, AirPods, and a large drone. Uh, so please, again, as always, as every week, pretty much, don't be that guy, don't fly over prisons, and use common sense. All right, you have a great week, and we'll see you all on Monday for the live, and then if not, next week on Friday. Uh, unfortunately, they ran and escaped into the near woods. Uh, one more time. Unfortunately, they ran and escaped into the nearby woods uh, only one more time. Ridgeland Correctional Institute, uh, no relation to Pilot Institute. Uh, well, <laughs> uh, if only the police had access to a drone. Just kidding. <laughs> See if I can do it with a straight face.